Hello, my name is Maya. Today we're going to do some yoga and do some yoga poses where we're learning and talking about our feelings and how we feel. We're going to read this book called Sometimes I Feel Like a Mouse. We'll talk about other feelings that we feel. First, we're going to listen to the sound of the bell so that we can focus our minds and get our minds ready to follow along and listen. After our yoga poses with the book, we'll do some breathing to help our body feel calm and ready to go back to whatever it is we're doing in our day. All right, first we'll listen to the sound of the bell. When you hear the bell, you can close your eyes if that helps you to listen better and to hear the sound for the whole time that it's going. When you can't hear the bell anymore, then you can show a thumbs up on your knee like this, or you can take a deep breath, And then we'll start our yoga together. Start sitting up tall. You can either be crisscrossed or sitting on your knees. Give your body some space to take some deep breaths while you listen. Here we go. Now that our minds and our ears are ready for listening and focusing, I'm going to start reading the book. On each page, there's a different animal. We'll get to do the pose to match the animal. And there's also a feeling. So every time you hear a feeling, I want you to try to think about the time that you felt that way. When you felt that way, what did you do? How did you react? What could you do to help yourself feel better if that's what you need? We'll be thinking about that <clears throat> as we go through the book. Sometimes I Feel Like a Mouse, a book about feelings by Jean Modson. Sometimes I feel like a mouse, hiding, shy. When you're shy, you're kind of nervous to join in a new group of people or to try something new. Mouse pose is like this. Sit on your feet, your knees together. You can reach your hands back by your feet and hide your head down like a mouse hiding because they're nervous, they're shy. Let's take two breaths. Taking deep breaths can sometimes help you feel more courageous to try new things or to meet new people. Sometimes I feel like an elephant stomping bold. Bold is you're ready to try something new. Brave is another word for that. We'll do elephant pose and do some stomping. Stand up with your feet apart like a big elephant. Reach your hands up. Like you're really tall and make a trunk with your arms right in front of your nose. Swing your trunk around from side to side. And then take your feet, make some big stomps. Good. Still your feet, reach your hands down like you're getting some water. And then on three, we're going to spray the water up in the air. One, two, three. Whoosh. Let's do that one more time. Get some water. One, two, three. Great job. Sometimes I feel like a wolf crying. Sad. be very unfun when you're so sad. Let's do wolf pose. Come up onto your knees, put your hands on your back. You're going to reach up like a wolf howling. Reach your head up. You can 
and saying, ho. Let's do that again. Ho. Hmm. Give yourself a nice warm hug. Sometimes we need a hug if we're feeling sad or lonely. Here's the opposite. Sometimes I feel like a canary singing happy. Birds sing songs very often when they're happy. Let's do bird pose. Stand up. We're going to balance on one foot and spread our arms wide like wings. Spread your arms wide and reach your foot back and balance here. And keep your toes closer to the ground. You can reach your foot way back like a and soar through the sky. Breathe in and out. One more in, out. Switch sides. So other leg, start with your foot close to the ground, your arms wide. Gently reach back, nice and slow. Breathe in, out. One more in, out. Nice job, birds. All right. Sometimes I feel like a rabbit trembling, scared. Ooh, that looks like a scary situation. This bunny is trembling too. We'll do bunny pose. Come on to your knees again, sitting on your feet to start. Reach your hands behind you. These are going to be your ears. Long bunny ears, so reach them up. And tuck your head down, just like a bunny hiding in a frame. Take a deep breath. One more. Good job. Taking deep breaths can also help you if you're feeling scared. Sometimes I feel like a horse. Galloping brave. There's that word brave again. Ready to try something new, ready to go new places. So horse pose, we're starting in down dog. And you're gonna put your hands on the floor, straighten your legs and press your hips back so that your back is straight. Reach one foot way up for horse pose. Good. You're feeling really brave. You can even take some horse kicks. So bend your knee that you're standing on and then kick up. And kick. Keeping your leg up and straight. Kick. Let's do the other side. Other foot. So reach it up straight. You can shift your shoulders over your hands and then bend your knee and kick. 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 Good. Ooh, very brave of you to do all of that kicking. Hmm, sometimes I feel like a squirrel skittering, excited. Oh my. Must be very exciting when you hear good news, when you learn you're going to get something new or see someone that you really love. That would feel exciting. Squirrel pose. Come up onto your tippy toes and lift your knees up. Then if you're ready to balance, bring your hands up maybe one at a time, like a little squirrel. And you can wiggle if you're really excited. Yeah, you just show a few little squirrel teeth. Good. Ooh. Sometimes I feel like a swan floating calm. Very peaceful looking. I would feel calm in a scenario, in a scene as peaceful as that. Swan pose is like you're floating on the water. Come onto your belly with your hands under your shoulders. Now, you're gonna press your arms straight and bend your knees like you're the shape of a swan. You can look up with your head. If you really want to, you can try to reach your head to your feet. This is as far as my feet go today. Maybe tomorrow will be different. 
Okay, two breaths. Very good. Ooh, good to sit up straight after stretching your back that far. Sometimes I feel like a lion roaring mad. Ooh, sometimes when I'm mad, I maybe will yell or roar, make a loud sound. Lion pose. I'm already nearly there. Sit on your knees, sit on your feet with your knees bent. Put the claws right on your knees. And we're going to take a deep breath in and then stick out our tongue and roar loud. Ready? Breathe in. Good. Do that again. You can even try to look at your nose while you do that. Ready? Breathe in. Wow. Remember, even if you're mad, it's important not to hurt anyone. Find some other ways to show that you're angry or find some ways to take deep breaths and calm down. Just like that lion breath you did can help you feel more calm. Sometimes I feel like a cat snuggling warm. This cat's all curled up, nice and snuggly. We're going to do cat pose and arch our back. Sometimes cats do some stretching with their back and they start on their hands and all four paws if you're a cat and then arch your back up and then tuck your head down. Good. And then go back to neutral. You can maybe wiggle side to side. We'll do one more breath in. Out and arch your back. Pull your tummy up to your back. Good job. That's a good stretch for your back, especially after we did some back bends like swan. Sometimes I feel like a dog drooping. Ashamed. Ashamed is when you feel sad because of something that you did that maybe hurt someone or something you did where you know you shouldn't have. Then you feel really sad because you're ashamed that you didn't do the right thing. That's a feeling we can get quite often if we're not following the right rules. It's okay to feel that way. Then it helps you learn what to do the next time. So dog pose, come onto your hands and feet. And tuck your head between your arms, straightening your back. Let's take three breaths here. Breathe in and out. In, out, one more, breathe in, and out. Sometimes when people feel ashamed, they also get a little bit angry because they know that they didn't do the right thing and they feel mad at themselves. It's okay to know when you're feeling ashamed because then you can make the right choice next time. And then when you make the right choice, you might feel like an eagle soaring proud. Proud is a feeling that makes you feel pretty happy and impressed with yourself or of someone else that's done a really nice job of something. We'll do proud eagle pose. Stand up. You're going to balance on one foot, so bring your foot over your leg, cross your leg over. And then wrap your arms up nice and tight. You can have your elbows stacked and your palms together. You can have your hands on your shoulders. Bend your knee like you're an eagle perched in a tree. One more breath here. Now spread your eagle wings and switch sides. So other leg comes over. Your other arm wraps under. Bend your knee. Breathe here. Feeling proud. One more. Spread your eagle wings. And sit back down. Good. 
Oh, here we have all the feelings again. Shy mouse, bold elephant, sad wolf, happy canary, scared rabbit, brave horse, excited squirrel, calm swan, mad lion, warm cat, ashamed dog, proud eagle. I have lots of feelings. It's wonderful to be me. We do have lots of feelings, even more than the ones that are on this page. All of your feelings are always valid. That means you are always allowed to have feelings. We change and have different feelings every day. That's very normal. If you're ever having a feeling that you feel is hard to manage, and like you don't know if you'll ever stop feeling that way, you can always talk to an adult, someone that cares about you, someone that can help you talk about your feelings and get you back to feeling like yourself and calm and happy and loved. Taking deep breaths can always help us with some big feelings. And we're gonna take a couple deep breaths right now. We'll do five and you can choose to either sit and breathe with your hand, feeling your tummy as it goes in and out. Or you could pretend to make a ball as well with your fingers spread wide, making a ball breathe in and out. You could also blow out candles or pretend that you have a flower that you're blowing away into the wind. Five breaths together, sit up nice and tall. Breathe in and out. Lovely job. Thank you so much for being here. If you need anything from me at all, please leave some comments below. Check out the video description if you need more information about different types of yoga that you can do at home or with your family or with your kids or students anywhere. Great to have you all here. Thank you. Bye-bye.